So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to grind the 80 plus player pick, but you can actually use this method to grind any SPCs out in a minute. There are a few SPCs you're going to need. One is the 80 plus player pick, put it into your favorites, the premium bronze upgrade and the premium silver upgrade. Then you want to have the premium mix league SPC. Get rid of the bronze, the silver and the gold upgrades. We don't need them anymore. So your list should look something similar to this. And the reason being is... If we go to the premium bronze upgrade, we get four silvers back now instead of two. And we can have ourselves the commons here. So what I like to do is put all your bronze commons in that you're not going to use for league SBCs or anything like that or any other squads. Stick them in. So we're going to pop this in now. You're going to get yourself back this silver pack. It's going to give you four silvers. You open up the silver pack and any untradables that you get in this that are not duplicates, you can put them into the premium silver which is going to give you the five commons back, which is going to be really helpful to do a player pick. So, as we do these already, just wanted to save you some time. I will mention I'll be covering quite a few budgets in this. So, let's say you have a lot of cards in your club, how to do it. If you only have 10,000 coins, what to do with that. If you've only got a low budget, it's going to be a very, very long process, but it is possible. So, let's imagine I've just opened up those two packs. With this player pick, and it's really important that you listen to this part, is you want to put in players that we don't use from league SBCs. I put in this La Liga or Serie A, sorry, Cam or centre forward, because I don't want a position changer for the league SBC. So these, all of these players, we don't need to use in anything else. So we get ourselves a one or two 80 plus player pick, and now they have changed it as well. So if you don't know, if you back off and go to the store, your player picks are now actually in the store, which I do like, but I also don't like. And the reason being is we open up the player pick first, it takes you back to the player pick menu and then you open it. So let's see what we get out of this. So in this one, we got ourselves an 82 who's going to help us out with a league SBC. Always try and take the highest rated or special card or any league SBC player. And I'll show you what they are in a minute. Then we have our four silver players pack. So let's see what we get out of this. Obviously, going to skip. There's going to be no special cards in the silvers at the minute. So for example, here, we got ourselves a Libertadores. And then we've got ourselves two players that we don't need and a league gun that we can possibly lead. So these two can go into the gold rare upgrade or the, again, back into the five commons. It depends which one you want to do. And that's going to give you a really nice way of getting these five gold commons. Some of these commons could be special cards inside. For example, if their base card is a special card, you're going to get that. But in this one, we didn't. So for example, here, we got ourselves two Premier League players. They're going to help us with the league SPC. And then the other three can go into the player pick. So let's go back to the Premier League SPC now. So I have completed the Libertadores here. You can see we put two Sudamericanos in. Once I have got the chemistry, I then go for the cheapest players on the market. So let's say you've completed all the league SBCs, league on. I always go for Marseille to have the most rares and the cheapest commons. So let's say you've opened up the packs, the untradeable packs. You want to put back into the league SBCs or put back into any other SBC you want to do, plus player picks, etc. So we get ourselves an 83 stones. If there's an 83 SBC that we want to do, we can put them in. So, for example, this one here, these three silvers I don't need to use. We can put them into the gold common upgrade. These two players we can put into a player pick and the Scottish League player we can. The Serie A, the La Liga, and the Prem one, depending on what I want to do, these can go back into the League SBC. So you can see there, the outcome is amazing. If you get yourself a tradable pack from this, which you do get, I really recommend, for example, from the League and from... Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Nice, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. The Bundesliga sell everything even if you need them sell them because that's how you're going to keep your coins up now that we kind of covered that I didn't want to go too much into depth with it I've done it quite a few times already on the channel we're going to show you how bronze pack method works and bronze pack method at this minute in time is like a gold mine so there are a few cards that you can get from bronze packs prime example is Libertadores you can see here 75 and higher is gold and they are 700 coins instant so that means bronzes also sell for that the same for Sur Americana that are instantly extinct at 800, 900, 1000. And these are silver and bronze cards. So if you get yourself a bronze one of these, you've made profit no matter what. There is also, if you go to leagues, there is another thing to check in terms of Libertadores. If we go to 650, you can see a bronze card comes up for that price as well. And the same for Sur Americana. So if we go to Sur Americana, once I find it, it's the same thing. See, they're 200. I could probably snipe that and make some coins on that. So that is already one way to make coins for a bronze pack method. Then we have our bronze rares on top of this. Bronze rares seem to be around 300 coins at the moment. 
So you can see here, 43 minutes, so 17 minutes after listing, they will sell. So now that we have this knowledge, we can go in to do this. And basically, what you want to do is what everybody says about bronze pack method is you want to sell everything that's worth something and keep everything that isn't, discard the rest. So that being said, we're going to show you exactly how to do this. So 750 coins, open up the bronze pack. We're looking for reds if we can. We're lucky enough to get ourselves one. Hopefully there are some Libertadores in here as through Medicana. So in this example, there isn't, but... We've got ourselves two players who are rare. We know they go for 300 each. So that's 300, 600. Then we have these players here. So this guy probably doesn't sell for anything. We can keep him. We can discard the rest because I'm pretty sure it's not worth anything. So we actually only lost about 20 coins on this pack. And this saves us 150 coins. We don't have to buy them off the market. So you want to go through this process as much as possible. So we'll open up a few more. And we'll basically go through what we sold and what we haven't sold. And the best way to do it, if you don't have a lot of coins, I recommend spending 10,000 coins at a time going through. So again, we discard all of this stuff. That gives us 96 coins. This rare goes for, sometimes I go for a little bit more. So 300 again. So that's going to be just under 400 coins back. Then we have three players here that I don't think are worth anything. So these three players we are going to keep to put into the, uh, the bronze upgrade. So, so far we've got four bronze players. We spent about 500 coins. You're not looking to make profit on every single pack. You're looking to increase the value of your club. But what I mean by that is storing players in. So again, we got ourselves two rares. This guy seems to go for a lot more. So about 1,000 coins at 900. So we put them up for 800. That's paid for the pack already with profit. Then we have the next one who's going to be about 300. We know this. So that's now into the plus. The MLS doesn't go for anything, and we can discard the rest. Sometimes badges might be worth something, but in this case, they're not. So we actually made healthy profit on that pack, which then takes up a little bit of the loss we made on the previous two packs. And we haven't even packed ourselves a Sudamericana or a Libertadores player yet, but we are packing rares. The trick is to get rares to keep the coin balance going. Once you start getting players who are worth a lot more, which will happen eventually, your luck will turn around you're going to start making serious coins and keeping players in your club. For example, this guy doesn't sell. This guy also doesn't sell. And I'm imagining this one doesn't sell either. So these are not losses in that sense. If you were to buy these off the market, it's 150. It's just going to be 350 coins. Sorry, 450 coins. So you're saving that. So once you've done this over, so you've actually got no coins left and you're bored of it, you want to go put them into this SPC, which is going to be the bronze upgrade into the silver upgrade. And that's how you're going to get your picks. Every time you complete this, you get four silvers. That's 11 players, so 11, four of those. If you do that 10 times, that's 40 silvers. That's 110 bronzes cards. Yes, it's a lot of time, but it is worth it. Then you have this one here. You get five players, so 10 of these will be 50 gold cards back. That's going to give you more than enough player picks to complete any other SBC that you want. A little bonus tip here. Let's say the rares that you don't want to sell. You can put them in here. So let's say you do the silver upgrades and you're like me and you get a lot of silver rares that you don't need to put anything into. Put them into the Icon SBC and I'm going to show you the reason why now. Is because these will give you tradable packs back and they give you two rares. So if you don't want to buy the rares, for example, to do the player pick, we need one of the rares. You can get them from these or you can sell whatever you get and you can get special cards in these. I've done it before. These are tradable like mentioned. So you're going to make a serious amount of coins in that sense. I get a lot of questions on how I managed to add these cards in. All you need to do is when you're on the card to insert part, press start or pause. And then you can put in as many cards as you want one by one. So let's say you put all your silver rares into all of the icon SPCs that have come out. We get ourselves a two rare gold players pack back. And then we can do what we want with this. So we get ourselves a board by the looks of it as a minimum. It's going to be German. It's going to be a cam. It's going to be an 84 habit. So we can now decide whether to sell this or keep it. In my side, I'm going to sell it because it's about 5,000 coins. That means I can now open up at least another several amount of bronze packs. It's going to help the cycle go around. Konza doesn't go for anything, so I'm going to keep him and put him into the player pick. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of videos like this. I will be opening up 50 of these 80 plus player picks in the next video, which will be uploaded in the next half an hour or so. So make sure you check that out. Catch you in the next one. See you.